The CARICOM chair, Mia Motley, who is also the Prime Minister of Barbados, was speaking at a press conference in the company of representatives from other member states. CARICOM's Secretary General, Erwin LaRocque, was also present. Motley reflected on the ruling by Chief Justice Roxanne George, which clearly states that returning officer Clement Mingo's previous declaration of unverified results was unlawful. As such, she contended that any actions to stall or deviate from the verification of the District 4 data will clash with the ruling. Any attempt to be able to stall the process or any attempt to be able to obfuscate the process is one that runs against the spirit of the Chief Justice's judgment. And it is against this background that we pray that even though a statute puts the power in the hands of a returning officer, that that returning officer will understand that he holds in his hands the future and stability of Guyana as we go forward. Moreover, she spoke about the country's potential economic turnaround in light of its newfound oil wealth. As such, she contended that too much is at risk should the electoral process lack transparency. This country is on the cusp of turning the corner economically, but it must also be on the cusp of making every Guyanese a winner and not a loser. Our fear is, is that if the process is not transparent, that we put at risk too much. The team of regional leaders arrived in Guyana on Wednesday morning at the Eugene F. Karaya International Airport. They were greeted by President David Granger. The team met with both members of the government and political opposition. Rupa Sinarain, The Evening News.